Right, welcome back for a short break. Um, this is, I plugged it in, I haven't powered it up to purposely see what it does. Um, connected the, I call it the power brick, plugged it into the mains and I'm going to switch on now. So let's see what happens to the unit when I switch on. That is smooth. Should hold me here. Then we turn down there. Uh, I don't know if you can hear much noise, but that's this is exceptionally quiet. All you can hear is the fan from there. Yes, there is from the back. You can feel the air blowing out, so it, it does work. I'm going to try and connect the um, I've downloaded the app which you can get from their website and um, comes up in Soko LC40 connected let's see what it does this um, let's see text so we'll go outline text There, but never mind. Go right then. Okay. Okay, it's framed it. So it has put it to the middle or thereabouts. Um, next step. Next set, width, tell me the size of it. Now, obviously, I need to position this. Now, What I find is you can't see that laser spot. Well, that isn't is not a very good design. Um, you're supposed to be able to see that in order to. You probably can from the back, but you can't from um, from this. So it smart point there. I have no idea where that is. So we know it's on the board. It's gone to the centre. And number of passes won. Laser power. At the moment the blue light's on but it's not that powerful so you can put your hand under that. I wouldn't have that is it? But it's quite safe when you when it's doing because it's very low power. So this is 22 percent, engraving speed 90 percent, 50 percent. Start. Data has been transferred.
Now I've not used this software on my phone before. I've installed it. Um, and as you see I only made that one mistake where I pressed the wrong thing instead of going to the top foot corner for OK, which then obviously cancelled it out. But that's how simple the app works. I'll be getting some complaints in a moment. Because <laughs> I normally have an extract one, but I don't in here. Done. And it tells you you can save up there if you want it. If you don't, if you want to save what you've done, so that's complete. What more can I say? Just show you this. It's locked. You can't move the head either way. It's locked in position. You can see. Can you see that? That's yeah. Impressed is the word. Um, what I am going to try and do is, because I use Lightburn, so um, what I will do is I'll try. I mean, this was just a simple procedure to say you don't need a PC and get one of these, use it on your phone, and you'll get what I consider I call it a workout of it just pictures. Uh, from images, photos, you can take a picture from the camera, put it on. What more do you want? Um, I just like a bigger screen, so I'd probably use that on my Android tablet, um, not my smartphone, but it would still work. Um, so, what I'll say now is final. <laughs> I will make a video when I get it working on. Uh, flash the firmware and get it working on uh, Lightburn. Uh, there is another piece of software on the chip which you can put on your PC. Um, I don't know what the software is, I only know that it's uh, um, similar to the phone in some ways, but you work it from your PC. Um, or you can use Laser Gerbil or GRBL and uh, all right though but you must flash the firmware with um with that via the usb cable and um, there is a sequence for that i haven't done it yet um i do know from looking at the phone that you can flash the firmware from here to put the um, grbl on operating system so you can work like them or laser gurgle but what I do know is you can't flash it back to go back to the phone that has to be done on a PC and um, why they've not done that I, d I don't know uh, there might be some technical issue why they can't do that but you can only flash it one way on this so um, but I find that very very good and so till I do the other video and show it working on the light bulb and um, as I always say is take care out there look after yourselves bye for now